It's a big day for space exploration. NASA will land a rover on Mars today for the first time in nine years. It'll happen around 1255 our time just before one in the afternoon. Perseverance will search for signs of life, collect samples and potentially pave the way for human explorers. Joining us now to talk about the mission is NASA's chief engineer, Adam Steltzner. Adam, thanks for joining us here in Seattle. So I guess first big question, why go back to Mars? Well, uh, we have not unlocked the answers to the mysteries that Mars has. And one of the most important ones that's left hanging for us is was Mars ever alive? And so uh, we're going back to take samples of the red planet uh, for eventual return back to Earth to look for signs of ancient life. We know that Mars was wet and habitable for life at the same time that life first started here on Earth. So we're trying to go back and answer that most thorny of questions. Well, Matt Damon proved that you can do pretty well on Mars, but in terms of what we're going to see here, what are you most looking forward to learning? Well, we're going to be doing a whole host of efforts on the surface. We're going to be doing some technology demonstrations, paving the way for future human exploration. We'll be uh, flying a helicopter to prove that we can do aerial reconnaissance on the surface of Mars. Uh, we're going to make oxygen for astronauts to breathe and for rocket fuel for the flight home. And then we're going to be taking those samples. And I'm very excited. I helped uh, design the sampling system. And I'm looking forward to bringing samples back from Mars and seeing if there's signs of ancient life. How long did it take for Perseverance to get from here to there? Uh, we launched her in July 30, on July 30th of uh, 2020, so it takes about seven months this time out. You can only go to Mars every 26 months, so uh, you know Earth and Mars are in the right spot going around the sun to make it energetically favorable. So she's been at it for seven months, and it's coming down to about, well, almost a, a little bit more than seven hours now before uh, our moment, our date with destiny. Yeah, 12.55 hour time here in Seattle. How can people watch it happen? You can watch on mars.nasa.gov. Um, we'll have links to all sorts of different kinds of programming. Programming on NASA TV will start at 11.15 Pacific Standard Time. I know it's been years in the making and a big wait for you. So Adam Steltzner, uh, congrats on everything leading up to it and uh, enjoy what happens this afternoon. We'll be watching with you. Thank you very much.